Hello? 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 Can, can you hear me? Hello? You have not pressed your sound. Can you press your sound? Hello? 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 Hello, uh, uh, Royal Linda, uh, we got a uh, uh, Mr. Tatenda in Zambia and uh, he is trying to connect so that we can talk about how to build this community together, borderless. And the one individual at a time towards the 10,000 points of light. We are assuming that uh, the objective of building a connected community of diverse people is a shared one. And we can use radio as an accelerator. Hello? Hello? Ah, uh, we can't hear you. Hello? Ah, uh, it's on mute or what? Did you, did you unmute? Hello, Shaq. Uh, did you unmute? As long as we can see you, let me try on a, on a <clears throat> let me try on WhatsApp. Hello. I can hear you, but now I got two devices. Okay, I have removed the one. I'm sure you're not hearing me clear. Uh, there's still some echo. I think it's still on. So either you go out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, now I can hear you. I've removed that part of the audio. Yeah. Giving you a lot of so good afternoon. How is Zambia? Ah, uh, Zambia so far so good. It's more or less like Zim. Yeah, except the there is no Zim dollar there. Yeah, there is no Zim dollar. Electricity is at least better. Yeah, and there is uh, not Zim kwacha. Uh, no, it's different. It's not Zim kwacha. It's just kwacha. Just only. Okay, uh, this uh, idea of banking on Africa's future, have you understood it or you are still trying to understand what it's all about? Yeah, I'm, true. I'm still trying to grow. Can you hear me now? I can hardly hear you. Yeah, I think there was some load shedding on our side. If you can come again, sir. I said there's some load shedding on our side. Uh, 
I'm not able to hear you now. Uh, I was saying that uh, in South Africa there is load shedding. So uh, the internet had gone off. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, the, the is, uh, there is load shedding. All right. Yeah, so the internet had gone off. Uh, it's all right. Okay, so now it is. Okay. One lady from South Africa and another guy from SA. From that conversation, have you been able to get some snippets of what is uh, uh, in motion? Yeah, I think what I managed to pick is the issue of being of bring people closer together, people from different backgrounds being able to to come together to a single place in order to share their expertise and so forth, mainly on their better days, which are not really celebrated much often. Okay, so one is to use the best days as an accelerator, an aggregator. For sure. And uh, uh, also to bridge the divide. Uh, you are in Lusaka, but we are on the same platform now. Yeah, for sure, globalization. The globalization and being able to uh, belong to one, a, a, where they call it Pax Britannia, Pax Africania or Africana, uh, that uh, uh, when we are united, structured, organized, it means you are never lonely anywhere in the world. There will be somebody that you don't know who, if you knew, life would be easier. Yeah, true, you can say that again. So if we come to Lusaka and looking for ways to trade and uh, ways to do business, you also may be a, a valuable bridge without us going there. Yeah, for sure. I think it will even assist people to cut costs and be able to use expertise and information, which is already available from, from brothers and sisters in different places. So if uh, somebody says, but who is uh, Tatenda? What would you say? Uh, the tender is a chartered accountant, well-versed It relates to financial reporting and auditing. So you consider yourself a chartered accountant? Yeah, for sure. But there are some accountants who are not chartered. Yeah, there are some accountants who are not chartered, but there are, but there are some who will be chartered. It depends on you. With a qualifying institution. Is it like police and criminals? That the difference between a policeman and a criminal is the uniform uniform or the charter? Yeah, the difference will be will be the charter. So if you don't charter, is it a society of uh, accountants who want to exclude others and invest in standards? So that those who are I not. Yeah, I believe it's a society of accountants who regard themselves as the elite of the accounting profession by excluding themselves from the general accountants. And have you cared to understand why it was necessary in the history of human civilization to create this, this association? or for chartered accountants? Yeah, I've managed to, to research on that and to, and to check on, on how the issue of chartered accountants came into effect. So my research goes back to, to should be 1863 in the UK, when there was an incorporation of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales, where they where people wanted more confidence 
in the agents who, who were running their business as, they, as, as the shareholders were not involved in the daily running of the business. So they wanted the third eye to be able to certify and assure themselves if the people who are running their business are doing it up to the standard that, that they are expecting to, so that they can be able to get rewards from the businesses. Fine. And who is HLB? HLB, HLB is, a, is an international global firm of chartered accountants, which is headquartered in Netherlands, in Dutch. So they've got a group or what we call network of firms, which will be in, in different nations, but which are affiliated to their, which are affiliated to their office, which is in Netherlands. Okay, so this is like uh, also a uh, uh, global, uh, the Dutch have always been thinking beyond the geography of uh, the Netherlands, is that correct? For sure, that is super cool. And uh, the global mind, the Dutch East India Company and all these, uh, the Dutch are everywhere, even in South Africa, there was a Dutch problem and uh, there was an apartheid problem which could not have occurred without the Dutch. Yeah, for sure, that is true. Uh, and what I have learned is that the Dutch, they, they, they really want to spread their wings. So they are, they are willing to, to go an extra mile to ensure that they go to all parts of the world so that they can be able to impact on activities which happen in different societies. So do you want to be a member of this Banking on Africa's Future? now that you know the power of organization and order yeah with no doubt i'm really happy to be part of this organization so do you think uh do you know a company called price waterhouse cooper yes I do. yes i do uh, yes, is, I do. what business are they in they are in the same line of business with hob Basically, they've got checks and advisory services. Then they've got assurance services. For their advisory, it also includes risk management, being able to assist clients with enterprise risk management. So if I told you that the PwC and the HLB are not accounting firms, would you agree or disagree? If you say they are not accounting firms. Yeah, they are not auditing firms even. Ah, no, I will not agree with you. Do you agree that a company cannot audit, but humans can? Yeah, to some extent, it's true with the use of artificial intelligence. No, no, a company is only an artificial vehicle. It doesn't have the properties that you have. I, can, I cannot talk to HLB. But I can talk to you. Yeah, that's true. That's so HLB, Price Waterhouse, they are banks of people. Their assets are the people. Very true. They, those are the people who are licensed to audit. Yeah, that is true. That's the true. firm itself is just a vehicle used by many people. It's like a church of accountants. Yeah, true. Yeah? That's true. If we wanted to have a both accounting firm, we can still do it. And if we have 100 of them, then we can have a platform accounting firm. But wherever you are, and we start training, building the knowledge base, so that we all have a shared understanding of That's right. what a credit is, what else. We can build our own standards. Yeah, that is true. To, to solve our own problems. Yeah, particularly here in Africa. Yeah, but we have all these uh, great minds who are shining stars in the auditing and accounting and advisory service. But they don't have an address. We know where the head office of the Catholic faith is. We know where the Anglicans are, Methodists are, Salvation Army, Lutheran. 
but the people of Africa don't trust each other so that they can create a bank. So that's all we are saying. It starts with you. You can aid your own people. You can even target accounting people to share this video to say, guys, I am now a member of the Banking on Africa's Future, and I want to learn that there is no accounting firm called uh, Ernest & Young or Deloitte or KPMG or HLB, but they are human beings who associate those firms, yeah. and it is the human beings who do the work. Yeah, that is true. And what we don't have is the order and structure. We have the skills, but we are not organized. Yeah, we have the skills, but we agonize. Yeah, that is more than true. I think I've seen it in my, in my seven years in the industry. And that HLB is an administration company. It's not an accounting firm. The invoice comes in the name of HLB. The mandate comes in the name of HLB. But if you started your own company uh, called MNM or MM auditing, you won't get the same clients. Yeah, true. The clients will be shunning you. The clients will be shunning you because you have chosen to be alone. So how can we have 1.3 billion foolish people who lack order and structure and you guys who have started account are organized outside us? Yeah, it needs a proper correction. So for that reason, would you want to be a paid up member of this association it's only 1000 rand which is a less than 100 dollars per year yeah, for sure i would really want to be a member of the bank of Africa. send you a link and then you can uh, do the right just by being on this platform and sharing you may discover that actually uh, the interest in, we could push this both agenda here in Zambia as well. That's somebody who is in Lusaka. And you see what he's saying? Do you see what he's saying? That's what is the problem. What is the problem with Africa? The African problem should be solved. No, he, he is saying that we could push this agenda how can you push yourself huh? how can i push myself no you are you so if you are going to be catholic you need to push this catholic agenda is there an agenda huh? no. there is no agenda but he calls it an agenda as if somebody has got an agenda Yeah? How many people would want to call it an agenda? When, if you believe in something, you take ownership of it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but we always want to be laid. We always think in superstitious, in speculative that it's not mine, it's not my company. HLB is a Dutch company, but it's the company that you are using to earn a living. And that is your vehicle to be able to build that capacity. Yeah, true. We should be able to derive from our own skills. You should be able to be the change that you want to see. Huh? Yeah, true. We should be able to be the initiative to start with it from within and let it grow from our side.
the moment you say I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Muslim, you're a Muslim. You don't have any agenda. You just have to live like a Muslim. You don't have to push anything. People will just see, see you speaking in tongues. And they say, what has happened? And you say, nothing has happened. If you have ears, if you have eyes, just see what has happened. I am now a believer. But people don't want to believe. They always want to be led. They want to be told the next thing. But imagine we called, uh, created a chapter in Lusaka, chapter in, in the Copper Belt of banking in, in Africa's future. Where do we have to register? We register in Zambia. Yeah, true. Then we can have annual meetings. Yeah, true. That would be really much appreciated in Zambia. That's right. So it starts with you to say, I'm now part of this global, but HLB is registered in the Netherlands, is also registered in Zambia. Do you have a HLB registered in Zambia? Yes, HLB is registered in Zambia. So it's a corporate citizen of Zambia? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. But it being an, a vehicle, it is, it, is, it is registered corporately in Zambia, yes. It has to be registered for it to operate in Zambia. Yeah, true. It has to obey the, the laws of which country? Of Zambia. Of Zambia. So that's what it's all about. You have to you have to be compliant. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So that's all we are saying, that uh, uh, let's think globally, but act locally. All right, yeah, I get what you're saying now. So we will first register globally, but we have to affiliate local, to create institutions locally. so that we become the change that we want to see. Yeah, in, in Zambia and in Africa as a whole. Yeah. So wherever we are, we must be the change. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, I really can't wait to be part of this call. Yeah. Did you receive the link? You have sent it on WhatsApp or... On uh, on your on your uh, LinkedIn, but let me also send on WhatsApp here. So that is the only question. Ah, <clears throat> not at the moment. So let's see whether whether uh, the people who usually want to follow others are following so that uh, and if there are uh, no question uh, we don't have to ask the questions for them all right yes i've seen your link on oh on... you've seen it yeah on the link right? yeah so we just uh, uh, focusing on the ordinary membership so that uh, uh, it doesn't become taxing but uh, what we are saying is let's build in each country these shining stars. Not shining in the sense, everyone is shining. Because for you to audit, there must be an idiot who buys something from somebody. And that idiot is the one who makes the market work. So have you ever learned of the greater fool principle? Do you know what the greater fool principle is? In economics, is a very great uh, uh, principle. 
it's called greater full principle. Yeah. So if, uh, if for, a deal, for a transaction to take place between two people, one of the person must be foolish. All right. Otherwise, why would I buy from you if I know where you're buying from? Yeah, obviously, then you just go to the main supplier. I go to the main supplier. Yeah. yeah. So that greater full principle is what we are looking for. So if you are going to be an accountant and your client knows what more than what you know, uh, do you think they'll pay you to do what they can do for themselves? Ah, uh, no, they'll never. So you need to, have to be chartered. Yeah, for sure. So that those who are not chartered, they may feel inadequate. And those are just so it say it, it is called greater full principle. Yeah, yes, I've taken note of that. Yeah. So when you join and people ask you what I'm, what uh, why should I join? What are the benefits? You say I'm a greater fool. I have faith. <laughs> and uh, I pay my pastor who has never been to heaven. But he promises that if I lose my money, I'm going to heaven. But himself, he may end up in hell. <laughs> but I still trust my past. And what does that make me? A greater fool. A greater fool. <laughs> <laughs> and how many people are foolish who make markets work? Ah, they're quite many. They're quite many. So, let us not be too smart to be organized. The Catholic faith, you know who is the CEO? Is it the Pope? Pope. And who is his cabinet? It should be the priests as well. No, the cardinals. Oh, the cardinals. The cardinals yeah. yeah. And who reports to the cardinals? To the cabinet. To the cabinet. It should be the priest. No, the archbishops. Okay. And who reports to the archbishops? Is the priest now? Who no, the now? bishops. Archbishop, bishop, then the priest. Then the priest. So can you go and confess to the CEO? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. Man. So that's how HLB is structured. Yeah, true. It is a global CEO. Yeah. And the, it is also the country CEOs. Yeah, true. So it's order and structure. Yeah. That is very true. Then you can go for training to Netherlands just to understand team building and how to behave in a multicultural what? Society. Society. So you can tell us those secrets of HLB, how the little Dutch people see beyond the perimeter of Netherlands. So I think that's uh, the greater full principle. Yeah, I've, I've learned a lot today. Thank you so much for having All right. No, thank you and enjoy the rest of the day. And thank you so much. So I'll follow the link that you just posted. All right. Once you have joined, then we come back again just to see that there are people who don't want to join anything, you know that. Yeah, true. They don't want even me to join me. Uh, even if it's a political party, they just complain and complain and tweet and tweet. And you say, are you a member? I'm not a member. No, yeah. I'm not, I don't believe in anything, but I believe the president must be a good one. Said, so, but who does the president report to? They say, ah, he must report to us, but he never does. They say, but you are a greater fool. Stop being foolish.
Yeah, true. Just join and be somebody and start asking the questions. You never know that uh, uh, ignorance can cause problems for all of us. If I don't know you and I didn't call you, I didn't send a message, you will remain on my database. Even if you are dead, I won't know that at a tender is dead. So yeah. I'll be a greater fool. Yeah. yeah, but I think you are still in my connection. But I have no way of verifying it. <laughs> and I say I got 20,000 people or 30,000 people. But what if 10% are dead people? Yeah, true. It will cost me money to know them. Yeah, true. Yeah. So when we send the message and we responded, that's all it takes. Yeah, it means there's a person yeah. There is proof of life. Yeah, true. And when there's proof of life, it means we can engage. We can make decisions, we can accelerate, because we want to get to heaven quicker. If it means sleeping, let's sleep faster. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mawari. I really appreciate you calling. All right. Have a good day, sir. Thanks.